Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install yet another ASOP project, or a short called YAP, on your OnePlus 7 or 7T series device. Now you can see I have it running on a 7T, and I'll be walking you through how to install YAP on your device. So first things, first of all, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, and you need to, of course, have some knowledge on ADB Fastboot, and uh, how to, of course, install ROMs, although... I will be walking you through how to in install. So some things you need, you'll need Payload Dumper Go. I'll link this in the description. You'll need Magisk if you want to use Magisk. The download will also be in the description. Um, and you will also need the YAP zip file. Uh, I will link uh, the updates channel, as you can see here, as all the updates and the change logs in the description. And I'll be linking the FTP server where you can download for Hot Dog B, Hot Dog, uh, guacamole B, guacamole, and some other devices uh, that I won't mention because I'm mainly talking about the 7 series here. So once you have those downloaded, you want to uh, extract your payload dumper go into a folder. I just do it via WinRAR because it's easiest. And you'll see you have payload dumper go. And then you want to extract your rom.zip. I'm going to position this a little better, move it up slightly. So once your rom.zip is extracted, you'll see you have a payload.bin. Just move that in your payload dumper go folder. It might take some time. Open command prompt, and then do cd wherever you have your payload dumper, uh, wherever you have your uh, payload dumper um, folder, and then you want to do uh, once you're in it, you want to do payload, dumper go, whatever, payload dot bin. I do note you might need Go, the programming language, you might need, you might need Python, and you might need some other stuff. Uh, I have all of this installed already because it's going to save me time for this video. But once you have all that installed, and once you can do this command, you should start payload dumping ROM. Uh, while this is happening, you want to reboot your phone into um, into bootloader. So in my case, that'd be just one click because I'm already running out. And you'll plug your phone into the computer. Of course, you need drivers for this. I will be also linking drivers in the description just in case you need it. Um, so once you're in fast boot mode, you can just set your phone down. I'll be setting it down right there. Uh, well, I'm going uh, to cut to when this finishes because it's going to take some time, obviously. Alright, we are finished. And once it is finished, you can go into the Payload Dumper Go folder. There will be um, this extracted. You can see right here. And it will contain all the images from Yap. You could, of course, uh, go into Fastboot and individually flash each one. But that's, that's, uh, that's going to take too much effort. And this is the simpler way. So... You wanna you wanna CD to where your platform tools is, so I'm going to quickly just do that. So CD, copy address as text, and then paste. And then once you're in your platform tools folder or fastboot or ADB, you want to just do fastboot flash uh fla do uh flash boot if you're if you have the seven pro or seven as the 7 and 7 Pro do not have recovery. Uh, it's actually bundled in boot, so if you're on the 7 or 7 Pro, do fastboot flash boot, and then do your boot.image, and it'll flash boot. If you have the 7T or 7T Pro, uh, you will also have to flash fastboot flash recovery. As you can see right here, there is the recovery.image on the side. I'm gonna put that in. Sorry if the formatting's a little weird. I'm too lazy to fix it, but once those once those two are finished, uh, you can go on your here or your bootloader and recovery mode. I'll cut back when this boots. Once you're on this screen, you can go down to apply update via ADB, and then once it says uh, now send the package with ADB sideload, you can go back to your terminal window and do adb sideload and then you want to go back to where you have your yap zip file that you extracted do not delete the zip file and you want to just drag it in 
Uh, I forgot to do the space. Uh, give me a minute. That's a that's a rookie mistake. <laughs> once this hap once this starts, you can see uh, ADB side load started verifying update package. I'll cut back when this finishes. Okay, so once it finishes, you should get something like total x s xf or 2.00x or 1.00x it also might stop at uh 47 but you want to make sure it says install from adb completed with status zero something along the lines with completed this means that it's installed and if you're dirty flashing from an older yap build you don't have to do this next step but if you're coming from oxygen os another rom like coughs or dirt fast or Android 11, I recommend clean flashing. And to clean flash, all you have to do is wipe data slash factory reset and format data. I'm not gonna do this because I don't wanna wipe my device right now. I will do that tomorrow when I clean flash, but you would factory reset data, it would take its time. And then once that's done, you reboot. And as soon as you reboot, you should see the Yap logo once, once all the, once all the, bootloader unlocked text goes away yep you can see right there that's a yet another ASOP project boot logo uh, this boot shouldn't take too long uh, devices nowadays are pretty powerful uh, I will show you how to install Magisk next because uh, you already have the payload dumped boot image uh, this should also work for Android 12L. I used Android 12 build here because that's what I have on hand right now and I don't want to go download Android 12L or 12.1 as Yap's already updated. Um, the, the, the 3.11 and 3.16 builds are 12L. But once you have, once you're booted up, uh, like you want to just, if you want to install a Magisk, you can set up your phone. But once you have it set up, you want to, of course, download the Magisk APK, which I'm gonna do here, Canary, because I, I use Canary. And then app debug. Oh God, Chrome's being stupid again. Uh, app debug, install. And then once it's installed, you wanna open it. Now back on your computer, you wanna go to that extracted boot dot image. As you can see, I have right here. And you wanna just move it to your device if I can do that you can see try again just to make sure you can see I'm moving it to my device and in my disk you want to click install select and patch a file and then you want to do boot.image and then let's go and then this will patch the boot.image that we extracted into a magisk patched image and in your downloads folder uh, you can see the patched boot dot image right there. Oh, I hit my tripod, oopsie. But you can drag that to the desktop and you could reboot your phone back to the bootloader. This is where we will need the command prompt window again. You can do fast boot, flash boot, and then the magisk patched boot dot image. I usually just drag it in so it auto fills. And then you want to click enter, of course, and it will send boot dot boot a and then flash and then you could just restart your phone and you should have magisk installed now and you should be gone good i'll cut back when this boots up with the magisk screen popped up okay so magisk is back up and if it asks you to do additional setup just click ok and then do whatever it wants uh, i'm gonna update the app really quickly because i'm using an older version of canary but if it just wants you to update, if it just wants you to do whatever, just, just reboot, let it do its thing. And after this, Magis should be working. And I'll, I'll show you how to pass safety net with Zygis and Denialist after this. I'll cut back on this reboots. So I am booted back up and going back into Magisk, you can see it's installed now, and to pass safety net, just enable Zygisk and in, uh, enforce deny list. Sorry if this wasn't focused, but Zygisk and enable uh, enforce deny list. And in deny list, show system apps, 
and do Google Play S or and then you should see Google Play Services and you want to just do GMS and GMS Unstable. You could also do Play Store and I'm just going to, I forgot. And if you have any uh, root apps you want to do like Pokemon Go, you can hide them here too. If you have any banking apps like Google Pay, oops, Google Pay, oh, I don't have it installed. You could also set that up here. And once it's all set up, just reboot your phone, should be good. And to prove that it is working, I'm going to quickly just install Yasnak, which is an amazing safety net checker. Cut back when this installs. Usually when you first boot up your phone or like restart, it takes a minute. So I'll cut back when this finishes. Okay, you can see it has finished installing. I'll open it. I'll quickly just run. See, I passed. And if I go into Magisk, all I have is deny list. I don't have any universal safety net fix modules or anything. These are all just like, this is Google Product Sans font. Quick switch for launcher. Uh, do note, launcher does not work on Android 12L with quick switch. So Stratum, systemless host, which is for ad blockers and stuff. And the FOD and QS fix, which just mainly does five here. So yeah, we're done. You have Magisk installed if you chose that route. And you have Yap on your OnePlus 7 Pro, OnePlus 7, OnePlus 7T, or OnePlus 7T Pro now. Uh, if you have a OnePlus 7 Pro 5G, you can follow my old video, or previous video I should say, and you can install it as well. But we're done here. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go do stuff now because it's 1248 AM. <laughs>